Fijian people are very, very warm, respectful and open. But the team that Monash has brought with them is also that way. So it's the combination of the team that has come and the Fijian culture and people that have created magic. This is the most beautiful thing I've been involved in. When we first got to plan our conceptual play worlds, it was all very quiet and very quiet. And then when the teams got together, it wasn't till the end that I realised that my group came from six different schools and they didn't really know each other. Would have thought they were best friends. So they just jumped in with ideas and the sharing was amazing. I think they have a lot more play-based ideologies and knowledge than they actually feel like they do. I think seeing that come out today shows how skilled they are. As they said, music is in their DNA, but I think also engaging in drama is as well. I wanted to highlight that we weren't coming in above. Part of my story was to say, you have already the knowledge. You are the experts in your Indigenous traditional knowledge and you can use it in this way to kind of uplift and promote play. You're already doing it. This is research, this is data here, this is evidence-based and we're going to use our own stories, our own traditional knowledge. Oh, it's just wonderful to just be with other teachers who have also experimented with conceptual play worlds and just that sharing of ideas, but also the sharing of experience, realising that no one's doing it perfectly, we're all giving it a go and we are all learning and developing as we do more and more play worlds. I think we're all fighting for the same things. I heard from the Fijian teachers that they're fighting for play to be back in their classrooms and that there's so much sitting at desks working towards tests and we're actually in Australia having those same struggles and we also have to advocate and fight for play to still be in our classrooms. For us to feel that what we do is so important, we have to see the power of what we do and the subject to positioning is one thing that has really changed the way I look at my everyday teaching and actions. We're putting children into this conceptual play world where they will work together and we're doing the same thing at the symposium. We're getting together and we're learning and we're working together. So it's a really joyful thing to be a STEM ambassador to, to lead, but also to learn as you go along the way. And yeah, that's what I've, I've loved the most. For me, it's a really great opportunity that I can have the confidence to stand in front of the people. And also that's the first time ever I was uh, presenting in front of everyone. All these ideas, all the knowledge from the ambassador, the Monash PhD. So I was using the Salmon Proverbs. That means all the treasure of knowledge that this uh, professional the ambassador or the presentation. Or maybe uh, that's the bucket. They will fill my bucket, then I will take it back home. I will share with other educators. I felt connected, especially with Jackie. Oh. She's so inspiring, giving me like, she's more like a sister now. I've learned just as much from you. Oh, you yeah. have been amazing. And to welcome us into your centre here, to really have a go at the dramatic play today, took mm. such courage and you did so such an amazing job. To be honest, that was my first uh, play wall lab mm. that I have done this morning because all the time we are practicing what is in the book. So going out of the context and then contextualizing what you have around and then making characters and all, that was amazing to me too because it's something that I haven't done before. Well done because you've made a starting point and mm. I'm really proud. That was amazing. Thank you. Mm.